Hi, welcome to another Cephable tutorial. I'm Alex. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you all about voice controls. We're going to go look at profiles that can use voice controls, learn how to start voice controls, and how to manage our voice settings for both controls and for dictation too. Before we get started, make sure you have at least one control profile that has a voice control in it. This might be a profile from a previous tutorial or one that you've made yourself. To get started, let's click the edit icon to make sure we have a voice control in here. In this profile that I'm using for Microsoft Word, I've got all sorts of different voice controls set up. You can tell by the icon on the left if there's a voice control and it will say what different voice controls you can use. For example, if I click on open file here, it knows that I'm gonna hit Command and O on my Mac whenever I say open file. But you can always edit this voice control as well by clicking the edit button and then typing what you wanna be able to say instead or adding other variations for voice controls too. Let's head back and start voice controls up. From your homepage, there's a big button here that says start voice controls. And when you click it, your voice control window will pop up. Voice controls appear at the bottom of your page by default, but you can always change this position in your app settings. It will then start to display your different speech that it's processing over time. If you pause and then start speaking again, it will reset. With voice controls running, you can also pause and resume voice controls at any point by clicking the button here. So now that it's paused, it's not going to process my speech at all. Now let's go learn how to use both dictation and voice controls at the same time, which is a unique feature for Cephable's voice controls. You're able to both use controls like we saw with open word or saying bold or whatever else you have set up in your profile, but you can also have Cephable type for you too. So I'm gonna open an app and have Cephable type what I say, and then we'll use voice controls to edit it. I opened up the notes app. I can use my keyboard to type here, or I can start to use voice controls too. To start, I'm gonna resume voice controls, and then I'm gonna use the keyword of type in order to type what I say. Type, hello everyone, how are you? Question mark. And just like that, we see it type out exactly what I told it to, because it will type anything that I say after I say the word type. So you pause first, then say type, and then speak immediately after whatever you want. But now that I have something typed out, I can also use voice controls for my shortcuts. For example, in my profile, I can do things like this. Select all. When I say select all, it's showing it highlighted now. Bold. Because I said bold as my shortcut, we saw it all bolded. Delete, delete, select all, delete. Type, how are you, question mark. Now let's go back and learn about all the other advanced voice settings we can set too. Now back in the Cephable app, let's look at some of the other advanced voice settings we can turn on. You can get to it down below by clicking the voice settings button. There are two settings here, automatically start voice controls and use optimistic voice controls. When you have automatic voice controls turned on, Cephable will open up the voice control window right when the app starts or when you log into your computer. Really useful if you're using voice controls all the time. Optimistic voice controls allow Cephable to adapt how it recognizes your speech. We recommend this for people that have speech impairments or are nonverbal but can still make different sounds. This will allow Cephable to try to find the different control in a profile that's the closest to the sound that they're making without having to fully speak out the word. The one important thing to note when you turn on optimistic voice controls is that you're no longer able to use dictation because Cephable only listens to the words that you have in your profile. Be sure to check out some of the other tutorials to learn advanced settings for expression controls, advanced settings in using your profiles, and so much more.